Hi, it's Patrick Hatzel from Intensive Care at Home, where we provide tailor-made solutions for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies by improving their quality of life, and where we also provide tailor-made solutions for hospitals and intensive care units to save money and resources whilst providing quality care. In last week's blog, I shared Intensive Care at Home, what we're all about. You can see actually a short video from the Melbourne Health Accelerator program about intensive care at home. You can check out last week's blog and video by clicking on the link below this video. In this week's blog, I want to share an article published last week by the Murdoch Children Research Institute that further supports the move away from hospital care to home care, even for patients on intravenous antibiotics. And the title of this week's blog post is Freeing Up Hospital Beds, How Children Can Leave Hospital Sooner. This proposal of moving more children into the home, even on IV antibiotics, is well in line with the services we are providing here at Intensive Care at Home. And we certainly know from experience that a lot more is possible at home, even for high acuity patients on ventilators and tracheostomies. In fact, it's a no-brainer. The powerful combination of giving intravenous therapies at home plus ventilator and tracheostomy care at home with critical care nursing staff opens the doors for even more opportunity to treat more and more patients at home rather than in hospital and in intensive care. Associate Professor Penelope Bryant and her colleague Dr. Naomi Katz from Murdoch Children's Research Institute have done some research and they looked into if children on IV antibiotics can be looked after at home. Not surprise, surprising to me, they have come to the conclusion that it's much safer to provide intravenous antibiotic therapy at home. First author Associate Professor Bryant who is the paediatric representative of the National Hospital in the Home Society, said this study was an important step in trying to get children home sooner. Children do better psychologically at home. They get better faster. They are less at risk of hospital-acquired infections and dynamics are improved for the whole family, co-author Dr. Naomi Katz said. The review showed that selected patients with a variety of infections, including skin infections, appendicitis, urinary tract infections, chest infections in cystic fibrosis and infections in cancer can be treated at home. It's likely that there are many patients currently being treated in hospital who could be treated at home, both in Australia and worldwide, said Associate Professor Bryant. And it's not just IV antibiotics. Other traditional hospital interventions can also be given outside the hospital environment, of course, like intensive care at home. It's certainly of no surprise to me that if the time in hospital spent can be minimized, if of benefit to patients, their families and to the health system overall. I put a link to the original article published on the Murdoch's Children's Research Institute website. You can read the article below this video. And if you're watching this on YouTube, go and click on the link below the video. It'll get you to the article. So thanks. And if you want to find out how we can help you to get your loved one out of intensive care or long-term acute care or also out of a nursing home, or if you find that you have insufficient support for your loved one at home on a ventilator, especially if they're going back to intensive care regularly. Or if you have any questions, please contact us on one of the numbers on the top of the website. And you should also check out our career section. We are currently hiring intensive care nurses as well as pediatric intensive care nurses for clients in Melbourne. We are also an NDIS, TAC and Department of Veteran Affairs approved community service provider. And we are also part of the Royal Melbourne Health Accelerator program. Thank you for tuning into this week's blog. This is Patrick Hutzel from Intensive Care at Home, 
and I'll see you again next week in another update.